86 Chevy C10 with a 383 Stoker AC. I've owned it for maybe about five years. My cousin, his father-in-law had it. They wanted it at a Super Bowl. So he told me that he was gonna sell it. He was in need of a truck. I used to own a 2005 Chevy Crew Cab 1500 lowered with airbags. I mean, it was a completely running truck and this one wasn't running at all. So I went over there and I told the guy, hey man, I'll trade you that truck, the running truck for the non-running truck. He's like, why? Because I want that one. He goes, okay. So we switched it, got titles and that's how I stayed with it. Changed the look, lowered it, took the wheels off of it, changed the interior. I've had it painted already three times, gone through tires and you know, normal weather type stuff. Finding time to get it done. Yeah. That was the hardest thing. Start with the motor, try to get it running, uh, just look over the whole truck and I mean, they're not expensive to do. Now, if you're trying to build a $100,000, $200,000 truck, yeah, it gets expensive and it gets pretty, but then you're not going to enjoy it. This one, I enjoy it. I, it gets scratched, oh well, it gets scratched, something breaks, put it together and go down the road again. You know, it's an enjoyable truck. I don't have to keep it in the garage, keep it wrapped in a plastic or a bubble and just have fun with it, you know? My wife's been on me about building her truck, so I have to get hers. Hers is an 85 GMC, short bed as well. We're gonna do a uh, full restoration on that one. But she wants it fully restored with brand new parts and every single thing. So with classic parts, we're gonna get her.